I was pleased to see the announcement last week that the U.S. government has entered into a settlement uh, to clean up toxic remains of abandoned uranium mines on the Navajo Nation and elsewhere in the country. Uh, this is the largest environmental settlement, uh, uh, Madam Administrator, as you know, largest environmental settlement in history, and one billion of that will go towards cleanup of abandoned uranium mines and mills on the Navajo Nation. Let me first say uh, that, that I think this is really important progress, and it's a vindication of the, the uh, uh, polluter pays principle, which I think is a good, solid uh, free market principle. For too long, private industry and the federal government failed to ensure the safety of uranium miners, uh, their families, and people affected by the hazards of exposure to radioactive materials. Uranium mining companies emerged overnight, uh, left a legacy of sickness and contamination, and then tried to walk away, leaving others to foot the bill. Uh, the Navajo Nation fought hard for fairness and settlement. Uh, and this settlement helps to right a historic injustice to the Navajo people and the surrounding communities and I think uh, will restore uh, the environment. This is a big step forward, uh, but we should remember we still don't know the full scope of the contamination. Uh, this remains a monumental injustice, and I want to work with you closely to follow the progress of the cleanup conducted with these funds to help the Navajo Nation until we're all satisfied that the job is done. So let me ask, have plans been developed already on how to use this settlement money, and when can we expect to see them, and when will we see new cleanup activities on the ground uh, in the nation using these funds? Well, Senator, first let me thank you for, for raising this. Yeah. I'm pretty proud of this settlement and the work that our enforcement staff uh, did on this, as well as DOJ. $4.4 billion dedicated to cleaning up hundreds of contaminated sites is, is quite an accomplishment. Uh, the settlement was just announced. The court has to approve of the settlement. There's a 30-day public comment period associated with that. We're very confident that, that the court will approve it, but it has to go through that step. And we already have trusts established to transfer these funds so that they should become readily available in the shortest time possible. And you're, and you're looking at doing that planning that needs to be done so after the court approves it, we can get the funds in the right Absolutely. Hands. We Good. have been uh, working on these issues, and, and in fact, 50 abandoned uranium mines will, are on our agenda to be one of the first orders of business on Navajo Nation. So we're very excited. Yeah, that's great. Well, thank you. And I, as I said, I think this is historic, and I think it's going to make a big difference to the Navajo Nation and to, and to many places where you have this uh, uranium contamination. Uh, I wanted to ask you also about the Waste Isolation Pilot Project, mm -hmm. and I would like to thank you, uh, Janet McCabe and Ron Curry, for the important EPA presence uh, in Carlsbad to add additional independent air monitoring and personnel. Yeah. I appreciate that many in your agency have made it clear that the radioactive releases from WIP have been at levels that are a public health danger, and I'm hopeful that your monitoring and verification will continue to support that. Uh, unfortunately, the facts are that two accidents have happened at WIP that were not supposed to happen, uh, a fire in a mine and a radiological release. Uh, DOE oversight has already been found to be lacking, uh, and that's why it's important to the community that an independent public health agency like EPA uh, be on the ground overseeing the recovery phase to ensure public health is protected. Uh, can you give me an update on the EPA's arrival at WIP and their planned activities there? Uh, my understanding is that personnel arrived this week to coordinate their monitoring uh, with correct. the reentry of WIP. That's right. That's right. And, and EPA's main job in this is to ensure that that we are looking at any level that could have been exceeded in terms of protectiveness to the outside so that, so that the surrounding communities are, are aware of, of any concerns and we're monitoring that. So far, it looks like uh, and any release uh, has been far below any levels that are necessary for protection. But we are there. We're on the ground. As you know, our region's doing a great job working with DOE because we know people have concerns. This is a big deal. So we have added our own monitors to DOEs. We are going to be monitoring independently so that we can verify those results and we can assure folks that we're doing the right thing and they have the information available to them that they need. 
Thank you very much. And I, I can't tell you how much it has been um, welcomed in the community that you're there and doing this monitoring. I think it's brought a comfort level in terms of health and safety to the community that we have uh, the EPA being an independent monitor of these radiation releases. So I thank you for that. Um, I just wanted to mention one more thing before my time runs out here. Our state environment and health department has brought to my attention uh, a concerning reduction in the EPA budget on radon. Uh, and so we want to work very closely with you on that as we go through the uh, budgeting process with uh, Chairman Reed. And I thank you again thank you. Uh, for, for all the things uh, that you're working on. Very much appreciate uh, the New Mexico uh, uh, presence. Thank you and thank you.